Gala Games is changing their entire gaming strategy. If you thought you knew Gala, think again. Big changes here are coming because of the change in this strategy, and you guys need to know and be prepared for what's coming now so you do not miss out. It's mission time. Secret Agent Stash. I want you to join the GIA. As a member, you'll unlock exclusive content on my YouTube channel, early access to new games, monthly in-game supply drops, and gameplay ops with me and the rest of the agents. Welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here. We are at GIA headquarters, the gaming intelligence agency, and I have a brand new Intel update for you guys about Gala Games. Everybody knows Gala. We know they're one of the leaders when it comes to Web3 Gaming. They have done so much in so small amount of time, and they've taken on a lot. And some people think, are they going to be able to make it? Well, they have just recently changed their strategy of how they're going about releasing and publishing games. And if you have not seen this and connected all the dots together, today I'm going to connect them all together for you in a quick breakdown of exactly why I think Gala Games is going to be taking over the mobile gaming scene and why they've switched to go this direction because it's it's maybe not what you think. It's maybe not what you think. Let's go take a look at a big announcement that just came out that kind of alludes to what is going on here and why they have made this move and we'll dive a little bit more deeper into this situation so you guys know the data behind this shift and how Gala is going to be working from now on. Okay, so they just launched this article here, and you know, there's information here that we already pretty much knew. This is not new information, but connecting all these dots together is what is important, right? So what we do know is Gala Games has purchased a mobile gaming studio called Ember Entertainment. This is the same studio that has been working on their Walking Dead Empires game. Now this studio also has 15 other mobile games that are coming and are now going to be part of the Gala Games blockchain and that means about 20 million existing players are going to be coming with them. That's big right there. We already knew this was what was happening. Now when they talk about they talk a little bit more about in this article is the fact that they're going big on mobile gaming and why, right? And why they're going big on mobile gaming. A, we do know Gala is going to be the gas token for everything on their blockchain and and these mobile games are going to be utilizing their blockchain for you know various use cases for different things, right? So when you talk about why mobile gaming, right, versus what we've seen so far from Gala, right now what we've seen mostly from Gala is PC-based titles, right, outside of, you know, Townstar. Everything that they have been pushing and publishing has been a PC-focused game, right, is a console or PC-focused game. And so you think, well, where are the mobile games? Why haven't they really been pushing any mobile? And I think that there was a big thing that changed last year, and we're going to talk about that here in just a second, so stick with us. But right here, these numbers cannot lie. There are 6.92 billion smartphones in the world today, and about 86% of people have smartphones. That's a pretty large number. That's a pretty large number. So they talk about the importance of mobile gaming, and what I really like is, th is this quick bullet point of why is mobile gaming so important. A, onboard mass numbers of users to Web3 Gaming. It's easier to onboard people through mobile for sure if you do it right. If you do it right. And it's easier to build a sustainable ecosystem with, uh, with rewarding games for all types of players, right? So you start kind of, we'll say, from the, the bottom up of like the most simple casual players and then be able to increase things from there for the very hardcore players. Now, one of the things about this too is, as we saw, most people have mobile gaming devices and this empowers more people to be able to play when they're just hanging around, right? When, you know, the doler moments of waiting around in life, right? Uh, and this gives everyone across the world a chance to play, not just people who have high-end PCs. Uh, and you know, you also be able to you know publish some high-quality games pretty quickly. Now, when we talk about high quality, we're not talking about you know PC or console quality, but high quality for a mobile game itself. Now, why did this change? Why this big change? Right. So, because as we saw, Gala has been all about console and PC titles, and then all of a sudden something changed. Right, something changed. They weren't really pushing mobile, and now they are going almost fully mobile with their with what where they're trying to put their resources and their time, and really pushing things this direction. And this is going to be a big rollout for them. So we see right now with the bunch of games that they have, the the two that they've already rolled out, uh, which are were existing games that came from Ember Entertainment, are Meow Match and Dragon Strike. 
Both of these are mobile games that have that are basically match three games. They're basically match three games. Not my style of game, but there's a lot of people out there, and uh, and this is why I think this is really important. We'll talk about this here in a second. But there's a lot of people out there that love casual games. You, you may you may be surprised in the numbers I'm going to show you guys right now about how many people like casual games. But these games are already out there. You can already go play them on the Apple App Store. Uh, Dragon Strike has kind of an RPG, some elements to it, and the Meow Match is all about, uh, you know, kind of breeding kitties in kind of a, a match tree type of way. Now, the big thing here is why you want to pay attention right now is if you want to get NFTs from these things for free, essentially, start playing these mobile titles right now. Because based upon their brand new roadmaps they released, the things and that you're doing in these games right now, the actions and the cats that you own in Meow Match will end up being NFTs on the blockchain. Right, so you'll be able to earn them now and get the NFTs later when they launch it here in Q2. Uh, same thing with Dragon Strike. So Gala account holders will receive a scroll of minting. Will allow it's going to allow them to mint an in-game item on the blockchain, and then you'll be able to purchase additional ones in the Gala store. But you know, getting in these games now is going to allow you to be uh, essentially getting ahead of the NFT mint and curve for all these games when they implement these here, essentially in Q2 for both games. So we'll see this probably be a thing for all these games that have already been kind of out there that Ember Entertainment has already been developing. But the ones that are still in development, clearly they'll be incorporated into the Gala blockchain from the get-go. Where they're already going to be using uh, things like gems that allow you to kind of, you know, uh, bridge Gala token onto a platform for mobile. And the reason why they've made such a big switch here and they've announced all these things about gyms, about NFTs on mobile, about coming to the App Store, is because late last year, Apple finally decided to allow NFTs in the App Store. So NFTs can be used inside your apps, inside the App Store, as long as you pay that big 30% tax. You know you gotta pay the 30%, but this was a big shift here. Because if you talk about mobile games, right, knowing that mobile games are huge, and then not being able to really create a great Web3 enabled, NFT enabled mobile game because the Apple App Store will not allow you on there. Now, Google has been a little bit more relaxed on this, but not having that a massive of user base that Apple has for your Web3 game means that you're going to have a tough time getting that Web3 game off of the, you know, uh, you know getting going. Get, because without, uh, without Apple and being able to have your app there as well, you definitely lose a significant portion of possible gamers that could be playing your game. So, right, that's why we really haven't seen a ton of really big mobile focused games that have NFTs being pushed. You know, we've seen Guild of Guardians and a couple other small ones, but in general, nothing significant until now because of this massive change. Now, Gala saw this and they went to overdrive. So this, this happened late last year in October and they absolutely went into overdrive trying to get something going for their mobile strategy here and i'm sure this is something they already kind of had in the works but as soon as this this you know switch was was turned on you know it's it's time to go it's time to build and they did exactly that by acquiring ember entertainment who was already working on their flagship mobile game for them in my opinion which was the walking dead empires now when we talk about why mobile once again why mobile why, why not just stick with the PC console strategy they've already been doing? Why not? Why also try and get into mobile and then make that a dominant, uh, you know, leg of your of your strategy, right? Uh, you know, kind of a, a shift in your strategy. Well, here's why: three hundred billion dollar market, a three hundred billion dollar market. That is the gaming industry right now. So when you look at how that pie is broken down, look at this pie right here. Look at this pie. This pie right here is crazy. So out of 300 billion, a hundred billion dollars is coming from mobile gaming. And there is a 5% year over year uh, average for, for increase on mobile gaming spending. That is insane. Now, if you look at that in comparison to like uh, PC games, 38 billion, only uh, plus 1.6% year over year. Console games, 52 billion, but, but year over year decreasing. Same thing with browser, browser-based games, right? The ones you can just play just in your browser. Not doing a whole ton there. But look at this. I mean, basically, you know, mobile gaming is more than both console and and uh, you know, downloaded PC games combined, right? Combined. This is this is the 2022 total here. So um, it's crazy to to see this staggering, staggering, uh, you know, statistic. This is one of the reasons why. 
because tons of money is being poured into mobile. If you're a gaming development or gaming uh, you know, publisher like Gala Games is, you need to have a, a killer mobile strategy, right? And put lots of focus on mobile strategy. Another thing here that I'm going to put a point on, there are now 3 billion new gamers as of July, uh, which is a point a 5.3% uh, increase than last year. More than 50% of these new gamers reside in the Asia Pacific region, and they're all playing on mobile. It's huge, right? It's huge. So not only do you have to have mobile games that are doing well, you also have to consider what your audience is as well. Now, another point, too, that I'll take it here, and, and where I, I was talking about earlier, where, you know, Dragon Strike, Meow Match, not my type of game. I'm not the dude that's sitting around doing Match 3 or doing Candy Crush. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. But it does not mean that millions of people aren't, because they are. As you see here, Arcade is the fastest rising game genre based on, uh, on 2022. Uh, Arcade has had the fastest revenue growth amongst mobile game genres, with players spending uh, rising 18% year over year to $89.4 million. Uh, Hyper Casual ranks second with $27.3 million in player spending, up 2.3% from last year. Now you see why they're going with something like a Dragon Strike and a Meow Match to roll things out. A lot of people question this. Like, seriously, Gala, these are the kind of, like, you know, ma Match 3 games are the ones you're coming with for your, your launch of your mobile in empire really but yeah and this is why because that's where all the money's at that is where all the money's at gala is doing things based upon the numbers and the statistics here not just willy-nilly so for all those people out there that think that they're just you know kind of throwing the, something at the wall seeing if it's going to stick I th they, they, there's a lot more thought here behind this and the fact that they have some amazing talent already on their team that has huge huge experience in mobile gaming is definitely definitely means that they are taking this in the right direction and that mobile is going to be big for gala for multiple reasons and i would not be surprised if we saw more and more acquisitions by gala for mobile users now what could that look like that could look like them getting another a mobile gaming studio right or getting more titles or ips that they can develop around some of these great mobile titles that they want to get published after they we already see some of these 15 titles that are coming from Ember Entertainment. So whether you're a mobile gamer or not, you do need to pay attention to this because this is a major, major direction for Gala. And if you want to take advantage of this, now might be the time to be jumping into Dragon Strike and Meow Match and getting your match three on. Because those NFTs could be worth a pretty penny when things start to launch here on the mobile side in Q2. Well, that's all we have for today, and as always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash. Secret Agent Stash.